Hey, it's Steve Garfield. Hey, with it's Jay Rosen. Jay Rosen. With Steve Garfield. Yeah, and we're at Harvard, and we're going to talk about newassignment.net. Right. Jay, tell us what newassignment.net is. Well, it's an attempt to figure out whether open source reporting can work, whether we can actually use the web to gather information in a distributed fashion from lots of people and report on stories that would be impossible to report any other way. Now, you know, there's a lot of bloggers out there reporting on stories. So there's a lot of information and writing happening, mm -hmm. like all over. How is this different in trying to collaborate with everybody? How is it going to work? Well, the difference is all those writers, all those reporters working on the same story, trying to answer the same question. Like, how family friendly are America's companies really? Or what are schools doing up with all those computers we give them? Or are our um, chemical plants really safe? Uh, or uh, you name it. <laughs> so the idea is not let's have a lot of bloggers and a thousand voices bloom in this case it's what if we asked lots of people to help us get an answer to a single question or report a single story could we do it so what would be the procedure for people who are interested in writing and collaborating with newassignment.net how how do you envision that actually working in practice well, uh, when we get going, there'll be editors. Editors will have blogs. Their blogs will tell you about what some of their interests are and what some of their current projects are. And there'll be lots of ways to get involved in those projects, whether it's going out and doing actual reporting, whether it's helping us uh, examine records. Some of it could be kind of rote work. Some of it could be highly creative work. Some of it will be brainstorming work. Some of it could be... Um, tell us some good sources, uh, and it'll be based project by project, and there'll be different ways to volunteer and different ways to contribute depending on how much time you have, whether you have special skills, uh, what kind of experience we have with you at the site. Uh, and the first connection, uh, I think, will come between editors of newassignment.net and the readers of editors' blogs. So editors will have blogs like bloggers now, and that'll be the way that you consistently maintain a relationship with newassignment.net. Lots of bloggers are getting approached to contribute to sites. And people contribute for free, you know, they like to on Wikipedia. Um, they contribute stories to Dig, then Dig becomes valuable and gets bought, and then Jason Calcanis over at Netscape wants to pay people to mm -hmm. contribute. So people who are good at writing are being uh, pulled in all different directions. Mm. Uh, what, what benefits or what, what reason would they have for joining newassignment.net? Well, newassignment.net isn't a company. It's never going to be sold. Uh, it's a non-commercial activity from word one. Uh, and so the only motivation for contributing really would be to uh, help a story come to light and to inform the rest of, uh, of the country or the community uh, through your own efforts. Uh, it's nonprofit. It doesn't have any owners. It doesn't have any shareholders. Uh, and there might be a mix of motivations for people to contribute. Some of it could be um, visibility, as with a byline. Some of it could be um, political. You want this story to come to life because you think it will expose the bad guys and underline the good guys. Uh, it could be a fascination with journalism or an interest in getting into this field. Uh, we have to be open to a range of motivations, but one thing we're not going to do is take volunteer effort and create uh, value and sell it to somebody else. Okay, well that's good to hear. Um, now with Rocket Boom, uh, I'm a Boston correspondent. We have a number of correspondents really around the world. Mm -hmm. And we've been experimenting with starting this thing called Human Wire, which is envisions reporters all around the world mm. who report with video stories. Cool. And they, those stories would go up on a, another site. And um, then from those reporters, one of those stories might get on Rocket Boom. Mm -hmm. Or the person, if they consistently contribute and they look like a good reporter, mm -hmm. they might become a Rocket Boom correspondent. Sure. 
Makes sense. So um, there's all kinds of sites that want people's video now. Yes. I mean, I, I get emails from this company, that company, Steve, can you host your video with us? What do you see the, the future of, of people producing video and, and where, how, where are they going to put it? How are they going to decide where to share this valuable uh, video? Right. Well, um, I think there are a lot of companies like that, not just in video, but in, in other realms who want contributors to, um, to, to put their work with their sites. I think that's going to be more and more common. Uh, what newassignment.net would offer that's different, though, is your contribution would, uh, would be part of a larger contribution, and the, uh, the efforts of many people would result in an important story getting told. That, that's what our site is trying to do. Uh, not just host citizen contributors, not just citizen journalism in, in some general way, uh, the idea would be that you're contributing to something larger. Uh, and if we can give people the sense that their part of it actually is critical to a, a larger story, and that story will be told, and it, it, it will be seen by the world, by the public, uh, that might be sufficient motivation for them to contribute. So might newassignment.net uh, be a place to collaborate on video stories? Possibly, if we figure out how to do that. Yeah, I'm, I don't think you should ask people to participate until you know exactly what you want from them. And when we figure out how to use video contributions in a distributed way, we will do that. Uh, but I think that's something we have to think through carefully. Okay, so if people want to follow along with your work and what you're doing, where, where should they go on the web? They should follow our, our blog at the newassignment.net site, and they should follow my blog, PressLink, where I update uh, important developments going on with New Assignment. And they can also contact us and say, uh, I'm interested in contributing, and we're building a database of those people. Okay, great. All right. Well, this is Steve Garfield reporting for Rocket Boom. Future of media. <laughs> right here. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. <laughs>